Hi, it's Nurse Kathy and it's five on Friday time again. Well, you know, it's spring and it's time to get back into fitness. So exercise just isn't for your physical health, it's also for your mental health. You know, some people think that exercise is just for weight loss or to maintain your weight, but I want you to consider some other benefits of exercise. Now, exercise makes you feel happier. Remember, we've talked about those happy hormones, the endorphins. Well, exercise helps produce endorphins, which will reduce your pain, make you feel better, because remember, endorphins are also natural painkillers, and it also will boost your immune system, those endorphins. Now, exercise also will make you more productive and you will have more energy. Studies have shown that 90% of the people who have regular exercise programs have less fatigue, they're less groggy, and they are way more productive. Now, exercise can also help mild to moderate depression, and two types of exercise, such as yoga and Pilates, can be helpful in reducing stress, they promote relaxation, and that's all because they focus on breathing exercises. Exercise can boost your brain health. So if you have a family history or you're at risk for dementia or Alzheimer's disease, exercise is perfect for you. With all the benefits of exercise, some look at exercise as a chore. Let's put a different spin on it. Look at exercise as a break, a break from all the stressors, such as your Zoom meetings, your WebExes, and maybe even that homeschooling too. Look at it as an opportunity to take a break and take care of you. Make sure you start your morning out right. If you routinely start your day off with something that's gonna put you into a funk, then don't do it the first thing. Instead, replace it with maybe a walk or a run. You know, some people think that you always have to sweat or pant or exert yourself for exercise, but that's wrong. You need to expand your idea of exercise. Exercise doesn't mean you have to run or leap or squat. It can be done from a chair, a five minute stretch. A walk talk conversation is also an option for exercise. And also doing lunges at your desk, stand while you're reading or composing emails, or at home, you can even, I know we don't like to do this, the house clean, but you can either mop floors, do yard work, rake leaves, you know, and think about walking because it's free. Personally, I think it's probably one of the best exercises. You can do it just about anywhere and at any time, and it works for a lot of people. Now, if you would take a 15 minute brisk walk twice a day, and you did that for five days within a week, you will have met the minimum recommended amount of weekly physical activity for an adult. Most people will tell you that one of the biggest barriers to exercise is they don't have time. Well, you've got to make time for it. You've got to mark it on your schedule. You've got to carve it out into your schedule. So you've got to make it happen. So some ideal times is maybe consider early in the morning or maybe lunchtime, just to get a little bit of exercise in. Well, now that's all for me this week. Now, don't forget that Ashley will be with you on Monday and she's going to show you how you can turn your kitchen into a medicine cabinet. But now before we go, I have promised you household hints all this month. So this will be the last one for the month. Okay, let's say you caught a good deal on a faux reef last year and you put it out in the garage. It's been in the garage all winter long. So you're wanting to get it out. You're wanting to put it on the door, but you see it's a little bit on the dusty side. So what you need to do, take a bag, Take just household salt. What you'll do is put the wreath into the bag and you'll put about a fourth cup of salt into the bag and then you shake it. Dust will adhere to all the granulation of the salt. That's how you clean your wreath. So that's all for me. Have a great weekend.